Tag Cafe's YouTube and let us make the most delicious baked chicken drumsticks. Hello my darlings, so nice to be back with another recipe. I'm starting off with some freshly clean chicken drumsticks. I'm just dabbing it dry with some paper towels before going in with some olive oil as I find this helps to keep it nice and juicy and help the seasonings to stick onto the chicken, okay? I'm now going in with some salt and black pepper. Make sure you put enough to your own taste. And now I'm adding some seasoning cubes. If you don't have seasoning cubes, you can always just add some all-purpose seasoning, okay? In this bowl, I have some thyme and parsley, and I'm going in with my garlic powder as well. If you don't have garlic powder, you can just use some freshly grated garlic. And last but not least, I have my smoked paprika, which is going to add some beautiful flavor as well as some color onto that chicken. Now you just want to rub it in, make sure you massage it gently. Make sure that each piece is coated nicely with those beautiful seasonings and as you can see it's already looking amazing despite the fact that it is raw okay it's already looking so so good so once everything is all mixed in you know the drill i like to let it marinate into the fridge so i'm gonna put some clear up on the top and just pop it into my fridge for about half an hour to an hour you can leave it as long as you like okay once my half an hour was up i have this tray that is lined with some foil paper and I preheated my oven to 220 degrees and I'm just gonna place all of my chicken pieces on there like so, okay? Now you wanna make sure that you don't overcrowd the tray. As you can see, I'm making sure to space them out just so that they don't stick onto each other and they get that nice golden brown color all over, okay? Now, because I have quite a few pieces of chicken, I'm just gonna use two trays to do that. Okay, and it's very, very easy. So guys, this is it all done. As you can see, chicken is nicely lined in my tray and I'm just gonna go ahead and push them both into the oven, okay? I'm gonna give it about 30 minutes before coming to baste it and ensure that it doesn't dry out. If you don't have this turkey baster that I'm using, you can always just use a spoon. Sometimes you just really need to use what you have. You know, before I had this turkey baster, I used to use my spoon. Listen, you can cook without all the fancy gadgets, trust me. So yeah, in case you're wondering what it's called, it's a turkey baster. I'm going to go ahead and baste the second one as well. And as you can see, we have a little bit of color coming on. Nothing too much as yet, but we still have to baste it because you don't want no dry chicken. All right. So once I'm all done basting my chicken, I'm going to push them back in again for a further 20 minutes. And now we're going to work on a beautiful garnish for that chicken. I went in with a little bit of oil in my pot. And now I'm just going to go in with some onions and some peppers, okay? I'm using some small chili peppers. This is just for a garnish. And I'm going to put just a little pinch of salt and a little bit of black pepper on there, okay? Because I know it's just a garnish, but adding a little bit of salt and black pepper to it just gives it a little bit of flavor <laughs> as well. So when you add it to the chicken, if you were to eat piece, it still tastes good, okay? So I let this saute on medium heat for about two minutes max because I 
still want the peppers to be nice and vibrant as well as the onions and this is it my darlings after 50 minutes this is my chicken drumsticks all done it's time to garnish it up because guys it's time to serve you know we're gonna serve this hot and this is perfect for if you're trying to plate something nice at your table and you just want it to look nice and presentable trust me the little garnish that i just made makes it look so much prettier and a lot of you may not realize but some of us eat with our eyes and i'm one of those people i eat with my eyes first so it has to look really good okay it has to look good <laughs> So yes, my loves, I really hope you enjoy this easy baked chicken drumsticks recipe. Make sure to try it out soon. Let me know how you like it. Guys, it's just so easy, so delicious. Your family and everyone will love it, okay? It has been a pleasure having you here in my kitchen once more. Make sure to subscribe if you've made it this far. And I will see you again in my next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.